Hey, it's TK here with my review for episode 54 of Dragon Ball Super. It's titled Trump's Determination. Alright, so start off the episode, we got Pilaw. He's in the lab where Belmer is fixing the ship or building the ship, you know. Um, her father and them already got all the, the fuel they need for a round trip to the future and back or whatnot. Um, Pilaw goes in, messes with the computer. Belmer, like, hey, what you doing? You kid, you know. And he actually, like, Pro, did some good programming, so it's like, hey, that's what's up. No, we did. Now, on to the next step. And so, Pilaw basically helped out with the programming for the ship. So, they just need to go finish building the ship or whatnot. Um, but they show Mai, she's over there watching Trunks because you know she's in love with the future Trunks. And um, she's with a dog, too. I didn't learn his name, but. You're just like, what is he doing? Because he's just standing there with his eyes closed in his open field. And the dog looks like he's visual training. And, you know, they actually show them, like, visualizing him fighting black in different scenarios and stuff like that. And he's like, I can't beat him. Um, before I get into, like, the train thing with Vegeta and stuff, they show Zamasu with K Black, um, with his mentor. You know, they're getting this race. Some race, some race that's from, like, some kind of human race. It's not really humans, but it's like this mentor is here is like a, a race from the human planet, I guess, or whatnot. And, you know, the guy, the Zamasu guy, he doesn't like humans. You know, he was watching them and they was basically beating each other up. And he was like, we should just go and exterminate them. You know, his mentor is not liking that. You know, like, no, we need to protect them, watch over them. Um, things would change over time, you know. And he actually takes him to the room where the ring is at and he lets him use the ring of time. And the ring of time didn't um, really help help out because um, they went a thousand years into time in that world where the, um, the, the, uh, the race of things is at and they were still fighting each other, you know. And also, he, he, he mentioned his, his mentor mentioned, he's like, you know, the other rings I got are a different color from this one because someone has made a new, has someone has like, like you don't supposed to go back in time with the ring of time. You can't, you, you don't supposed to go in the past. So the, those other rings, someone has went into, went into the past with it and they got like different kind of worlds going on. So it's, that, that might lead on to some other stuff in the future episodes. He got the, the other green, the other green rings. Like the ring supposed to be silver, so the rings that he was talking about are all green. So those are all different, messed up worlds, alternate worlds. Yeah. Well, um, back to the train part. Um, Vegeta tells Trunks to come with him. Um, they're out in the field. He's um, Trunks. You know, he's, he's powering up, going Super Saiyan form. He's like, okay, Vegeta, um, go Super Saiyan three like Goku did when we. Was sparring earlier, um, well, a couple episodes back, you know. And Vegeta smiles, goes Super Saiyan Blue. This is the first time Trunks have seen it or heard about it. He didn't know that they could suppress that form, you know. And they actually did like a flashback showing them um, the, the Cell Saga, um, like when it was in the time chamber, when Trunks basically was going Super Super Vegeta, I guess you want to say, or Super Trunks. Um, when they like super buff, you know, and um, Vegeta was like, "Let's make a deal. Like, if you hit, if you could land one hit on me, you win the fight, the training session, I guess, you know." And then Trunks goes into the big form, you know, the buff, the buff form. Vegeta gets pissed off. He comes striking down. Then Trunks was just using a decoy to like get Vegeta to charge at him, and he quickly went back normal Super Saiyan form and tried to hit on him. It was like a quick little fighting scene. Vegeta won it, of course. Um, yeah, towards the end, this is like Vegeta doesn't hit him. He went back normal form. Um, Trunks is smiling. He's like, my dad and Goku is just strong. Together they could beat Black. I don't need to get any more stronger. That's what he was thinking. He didn't say it out loud, nothing like that. And Vegeta picks him up. He's like, why are you smiling for? You're my son. Um, it's basically like. It's your goal just to beat Black. He's like, you need to get stronger so you can be prepared for other enemies, like future enemies that will arrive there, you know, stuff like that. You um, know, 
basically Trunks took the opportunity to hand land one hit on him and he was like, I win. Cause like, cause he, what you said earlier, like, get one hit on me, you win the little battle or training session or whatnot. But, um, the video, he just, Trunks thanked him or whatnot. He just got mad and just walked off. And I forgot, I ain't mentioned, but this, it ain't really a big detail, but, um, Goku had brought Bilma, like, when he was starting to fight and whatnot. But towards the episode, Weez and Beerus is chilling at the, at the house. Um, Beerus is waiting for Weez to bring the food. Um, Weez is getting a call. Beerus like, call back later. Oh, I forgot exactly what he was like, what, what, call back later. He saw that was the king, which is supposed to be the strongest person in the whole universe, in the, all the universes or whatnot, that king guy. And he wants to see Goku, so um, we finna see what's gonna go on there. You know? Goku meets the king again. The king of everything though. But yeah. Um overall episode was decent. Um wasn't too much action. Like I said, it did have a comedy scene. Um the action you get like in the last few minutes, just like a quick little scene and whatnot. So overall the episode was a decent episode. Next episode we're gonna see the Supreme Kai, you know, the ones that um with the earrings that basically that Goku no, yeah, yeah, no one time. I don't know his name, but you gonna see him. You gonna see a new, a new uh, person that looks like the the guy. Uh, interesting looking episode. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm TK. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at TK Redori Scar. It's in the description, and I got a link on my YouTube banner. So just click on the Twitter icon and take you right there. And yeah, already check out my anime I recommend episode. I put it up a couple days ago, so check that out if y'all want to. Um, chat some enemies if y'all right now on enemies to watch. But yeah, until next time, I'm out. Peace.